Hey, hello, third graders. How are you? I hope you and your family members are healthy at this very crazy time. My name is John Dow. You might have seen me in school when you, cause you used to go to school at collegiate. You might have seen me before. Uh, today, I would like to talk to you. I would like to share with you some stories that I heard when I was young, when I was in South Sudan, when I was little like you. So my mom, my dad, my grandfather, my grandmother, my uncle and aunties, all of these people, they've been sharing stories with us. So those stories, I still remember those stories. Now, I would like to share these stories with you too. But today, I'm going to share with you only one story. And maybe I'm going to share more later. So the story that I would like to share with you third graders it's a story of the missing goat, or the story of goat number three. This is the story that I'm going to share with you today. Now, the story of goat number three, it happened in a place called Dukpayuel in South Sudan. So, so Dukpayuel as a village, it has a, a school, you know? And that school is where the kids from different villages, they come to that school, right? There was no car, there were no car, there were no buses that would take children there. So children walk. They walk to school and walk from school back to their villages, back to their home. So one day when a bell rang, a bell that tell them that they should go home, which means the end of the day. So when the bell rang, a, 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 a you know a brother and a sister were going home they were going to their village from that school and they walk going home a, you know one of them saw goats you know in Africa there were goats everywhere you know of course but what so one of them saw goat they said oh look at the goats there are so many goats there so one of them said you know what I got an idea and the other one said, what, what is your idea? And say, why can't we take this goat, take them to our school, and maybe one of the door will be open, and then we'll put this goat inside our school. They said, oh yeah, that's a good idea. So they went and round up all the goats, and they start taking them to school. But before they take them to their school, one of them said, why don't we paint numbers on the side of the goat? They, they start painting numbers. They said, okay, let's paint it number one. So on the side of this goat, they painted goat number one. And then on side of this goat, they painted goat number two. And then on the side of this goat, they painted goat number four. So, and they all took this goat to this school. You know, there's a door here. And take this goat and this goat. Luckily enough, the door was open. So they opened this door, put the goat inside the school, and, the, and, and they went home. The following morning, as the teachers came to school, one of them opened the door, one of the teachers opened the door, and they said, oh, Oh, something smell like goat. And then another teacher came and another teacher, all the teachers gathered here and they say, hey, by the way, there are goat inside the building. So we could not, we cannot allow children to go inside the school. And they, they say, let's find them. And all the teachers from this school, they look inside searching for goat and quickly they found goat number one. Say, yeah, we found goat number one and they put the goat number one here. And they look around and look around, the headmaster came and everyone came, and then they found goat number four. And then they put goat number four here. Say, so, yeah, we are getting them. They say, we found goat number one, we found goat number four, let's let keep looking. So they look around, the, the, the security guards came, uh, the cook came, everyone came to help them find goats. And then eventually they found goat number Two. They say, yeah, now we found goat number one, we found goat number two, and we found goat number four. 
We say, yeah, then there may be God number three here. If we found God number one, God number two, and God number four, what about God number three? They went inside and they called the, you know, because uh, the firefighters and they called the, the police and the, they all came and Luke helped them find God number three. And until about 12 midnight, uh, midday, 12 midday, say, so you know what? And all the kids were standing here. All the kids were here. They were not allowed to go inside the building because they're suspecting God number three. And the headmaster said, you know what? The school is going to be closed today. All the children must go home. And all the kids went home. So there was no school that day. So that is the end of my story. Now, third graders, my question is, what well, there's good number three? That's one. Was the decision made by the headmaster to close school that day, was it a good idea, a bad idea? Number two, why do you think they could not find God number three? They found God number one, they found God number two, they found God number four. Why do you think they could not find God number three? So these are questions that I want you to talk about among yourself with your teachers and find out whether there was God number three in the first place. Well, uh, why the school was closed? What the decision made by headmaster was a good idea? What the, what the, the decision made by headmaster to close school, was it a bad idea? You know, so think about this and then write your thinking, write what you, you, your opinion. Let me see your opinion or of course you submit them to your teachers and, 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 and tell me what, what, what do you think about this story? And now, last thing, I want you to tell me too, or tell your teachers, what is the moral value of this story? What have you learned from this story? These are another two questions that I want to add to that. The moral value of this, this story, what have you learned from this story? All right? I'm sorry that I cannot come to you, of course, the coronavirus is the problem, but I have to just be sending you videos. Now, I have so many videos, I, uh, of course, uh, you know, stories, that if you want me to tell more stories, I will do so. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye-bye.